Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Okay guys, today we're talking about testosterone. Before I begin, let me tell you, I am not giving you any medical advice. I am not making any medical claims, but that's all I got to say about that. Let's move on. So, we know that testosterone is really an important hormone. Let's just show you a little bit of what low testosterone could potentially do. Like it says here on this right side, it says it can cause low energy, increased fat tissue, Increased risk of ED, guys, you know, erectile dysfunction and low libido. Increased risk of Alzheimer's disease, uh, depression, and increased risk of osteoporosis. This is a really, really big deal. Now, let's talk about how hydrogen might potentially be able to help this because the reason I found this information is because I've been feeling results from the hydrogen in regards to this for quite some time, but they've just almost been seeming to get better with time which is not normal considering, you know, as you age, this doesn't typically get better. And I've been doing some experiments on myself where I literally, I like exercising, but I've given up exercise for quite some time to see how much muscle retention and how hydrogen could potentially help me even if I'm not exercising. And I've been shocked by the results, but let me show you some of the science. So let me move on here for a second. All right, guys, so let me share this article with you because this is really interesting. First, let's just look at the title, Molecular Hydrogen May Enhance the Production of Testosterone. Guys, that's huge. Uh, testosterone hormone in male infertility through hormone signal modulation and redox balance. I think it pretty much said it all in the title, but let me just share a few things with you guys here. So let's say it says, since the discovery of molecular hydrogen, which they just we can call it H2, as a selective scavenger of free radicals like reactive oxygen species and reactive nitrogen species, numerous studies have proved the potential application of hydrogen, molecular hydrogen, in therapeutic and preventative medicine. Moreover, hydrogen can regulate the intracellular signal as a signal modulator. Guys, that is huge. But let's go ahead and just kind of show you why they believe this can actually help. And in my opinion, it definitely does based on just my own experiences. I really think bodybuilders, I think uh, older men who are dealing with testosterone issues, I just think hydrogen is kind of good for everybody. Um, and of course, they, this is about male fertility. Now, one of the reasons that I stumbled upon this was because I remember hearing about some medical clinics in Japan. They're actually fertility clinics where they're using hydrogen for both male, male and females um, in regards to fertility and how hydrogen might actually be helping with that. But let's go and basically, let's just jump here where it says, moderate amounts of ROS, reactive oxygen species, are needed for normal sperm function. So we do need some of this. However, too high amounts, like right here it says, the higher amounts might actually decrease testosterone production. So like everything in life, in my opinion, is everything requires a certain level of balance. And that's the thing that I've been noticing about hydrogen is that it seems to bring balance to the body. And that's ultimately what they're talking about here because high ROS decreases testosterone hormone production by this regulation of hormonal signal from the hypothalamus to the Leydig cell as a, result of, as a result of redox imbalance. So again, it's all about balance, guys. Uh, let me jump over here because see what it's basically showing you is that H2 helps regulate the signaling. That's what they mean here by MAPK and also the CAMP. This has to do with the signaling and the you know regulating signals and whatnot. So when they go through, I guess right here, let's see, a signal as a signal modulator to antagonize reactive oxygen or ROS signaling. So based on the data, what they're jumping to the conclusion is that thus H2 can play a role in modulating signals involved in testosterone hormone production to improve male fertility caused by redox imbalance. And I personally think that a lot of the stuff that causes the imbalance are different like chemicals, for example, in our water, maybe in our food, uh, things in the air, basically stuff in our environment, guys. So based on this info, we therefore hypothesize that molecular hydrogen may enhance testosterone production via cellular redox balance. This is why not only am I into like clean living, like the cleanest food you can get, definitely making the cleanest water, that's going to be a huge thing. But even though you do those things, I have still found that hydrogen is still that kind of that magic piece to the puzzle because of the way that it brings all the things that it does. It's, I mean, there's so many things that hydrogen does and still more question marks, but I definitely know it's worked for me. 
And if you see right here, by this hypothesis, we anticipate that molecular hydrogen may be an effective remedy in male infertility. So I think it can definitely do a lot more. I'd be curious in the future, obviously, if athletes begin to use it. I really think they should. I know Japan's probably the only place that really knows a lot about it. And again, just people who are older or people who are dealing with, you know, a lot of people like to use TRT. This could be the new TRT, you know, testosterone replacement therapy. Though, in my opinion, this would be a lot safer, uh, probably a lot less side effects, but it probably won't be as aggressive. Or maybe even with a combination of it, because that's another thing. Because of negative side effects that sometimes can happen from something like a hormone replacement therapy, I think hydrogen could potentially help with the negative side effects just because of all the different things that I've seen hydrogen do in regards to protecting from negative side effects in my other videos. And that's it, guys. So don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Get the video a thumbs up to help support the channel. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on the next one.